Okay, this video is showing you how to install and set up real debris on your uh, Kodi setup so that you can uh, get um, a lot more movies from better sources. Uh, a lot of times you set up Kodi, a lot of the apps that you install. Now, Kodi doesn't come with apps installed. You have to install different apps, which then go scrape the... Uh, uh, internet and the websites that host them to try to find you the movies that you want to watch. So um, a lot of times those links may bring back bad movies, the wrong movie. They could be slow, stuttering, sputtering, requiring you to go to a website, put in codes first. Well, using apps like Real Debris or Premium, uh, Premium Mize uh, will actually, it's a paid for service, but uh, it's pretty cheap. Uh, considering your experience is going to be a lot better and uh, you'll probably be pulling up movies a lot quicker and better streaming sources okay uh, so anyway this little review is going to show you how to set up the uh, real debris um, now uh, and why I picked real debris over uh, premium eyes uh, okay the premiumize is uh, the reason. Uh, premiumize me. I'm sorry. Um, the reason why I didn't select that is it's a lot more expensive. Um, now it's more expensive because you know it has a, a built into it a um, a VPN uh, service, so you don't have to s sign up for a separate VPN service. Um, it says pay less, but it's, you're actually paying a lot more. Let me show you in a second because if we go up to the pricing on it, all right. And I pull up the pricing for you. You could see uh, the premiumized packages that they have uh, for 12 months. Uh, it's everything's based off of euros here. So uh, for uh, 12 months, uh, you're paying basically 5.75 euro a month. Now keep in mind, right now a euro versus a dollar. A dollar uh, is uh, uh, for every one euro, a dollar is uh, uh, you're going to be spending a dollar and eleven cents, I believe it is. So the euro is valued higher right now than the than the dollar. So that's why. Okay, so it's going to be more expensive than this. Uh, all right, um, but that's how much you're going to be spending a month, uh, or about seventy euro a year. Which uh, I'm not sure what that converts to in dollars. Try to Google it and figure it out. Um, anyway. Uh, so, premiumize. Why does it cost more? Because it's got a built-in VPN, and it also gives you access to. Here, let me pull up the features. Um, it also gives you access to uh, Usenet. Uh, you know, but if you're not downloading torrents, um, you know, you don't really have to worry about Usenet as much. You know, because uh, Real Debris also gives you access to torrents. But this is like if you want a standalone access using other apps to download the torrent system. Uh, or to get the torrent access through Usenet, which is very popular and big service. Uh, you could get access for that that's included in this fee. That's probably why I'm guessing it's a lot more expensive. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's not good to use their VPN versus your own standalone VPN. Because when you're using your own standalone VPN service, a virtual private network, um, it doesn't matter if you're using the premiumized features or not at any time. Uh, you're, you're still protected. Your devices are still protected by the uh, VPN if you have a standalone VPN versus this one uh, for the... Um, uh, that you're only going to be using really for the downloading of these movies and watching them on Kodi, Fire TV Stick, or whatever the devices that you're using. So let's uh, get out of Premium Eyes here. Let's go to Real Debris. Real Debris, uh, okay, so we're on Real Debris. That's, that's me, okay. There's no login information there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so uh, they give you access to a lot more uh, seeded... Um, torrents uh they have a lot more providers than premiumize and pro premiumize me um now it's also a lot bigger service that's available and that's all they do here is they give you access to faster servers and um and to a lot of uh maybe there are websites out there that give streaming movies um and they sell them uh, so basically, the way Cody works, it goes in and scrapes them and steals them, you know. Uh, using sites like Real Debris and Premiumize, you're, it's actually going to be 
uh, giving them a little kickback of money. So they're getting paid something in return to get uh, direct access, okay? And plus, you also get uh, a lot of these movies available from torrents. Um, if you don't know what a torrent is, don't worry about that right now. But it's basically a lot better service where you can get these movies that stream and uh, you find them right away. That's all you probably really need to know or care about. Okay, so... Uh, once again, with them too, their services are based off of euros. Okay, uh, so I went, I went for the most expensive plan, uh, sixteen euro, hundred eighty days. Okay, uh, but still, as you could see, that is a lot cheaper than the premium eyes, which is uh, where the hell is the pricing on it? Let me pull that up again. Uh, where their pricing is uh, seventy euro for a year. Um, they're 16 euro for six months, so maybe about 32 euro a year, right? Okay, uh, convert it to dollars either way, you can see it's still a lot cheaper. Okay, it's half the price. Um, and I, I've been using it, I just signed up for it the other day and I've been using it and it is uh, uh, night and day from the service for the movies that you find. Previously I couldn't get movies or they're showing, but there are no sources are found. Uh, this one I've been finding a lot more reliable sources and finding the movies I want so that I could watch. So anyway, you just go to Real Debris, you click on premium offers, it shows you the different programs. It'll pull this up for you and then you could uh, see that, okay? Um, let me see. I'll, I'll also have a link to it down below this video so that you could get access to it. Okay, to both the real debris and the premium eyes. You could judge for yourself or sign up for whatever you want. All right. So let me show you now. After you hook it up, uh, after you get the service and you pay for it, then you got to go to uh, your uh, your device where you're having where you're running Cody and you have to set it up and you have to um, link that device. And to uh, to your service, to your paid service. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Okay, uh, hold on one sec. Now, before we set this up, one very important thing is you got to shut off your VPN. Whatever VPN service you're using, you got to turn it off before you set this up. And then after it's set up, then you can turn your VPN back on. Okay, so let's just first do that. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to get that set up. Okay. All right, so as you can see, I don't have mine on right now, so uh, we get back out of this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Kodi. Um, uh, I'm using it on an Amazon Fire TV stick here. Uh, now, keep in mind that um, uh, the, re the whole tutorial on this is, is to show you how to use it with a uh, different skin, because I'm not using the default Kodi skin. I'm using a very popular... Aeon Knox skin is what I'm using here. Okay, so this is Aeon Knox. I believe it's a uh, five or six. It's a latest setup version for um, Cody Layla. Okay, um, I'm using 18.1 version of Cody, and this is the latest uh, or a, uh, a version that was adapted recently by uh, uh, by the developer of uh, Aeon Knox skin. Uh, it's a very popular skin to, uh, it's a, it's, when I say skin, I mean a menu system uh, to use on Cody. So let me back out of here uh, for a second. So basically what we do is this. Okay, hold on. Okay, I see I set up a menu system here at the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to get to the uh, system and then we're going to go to settings. Okay, now as it pulls up settings, I got the advanced settings that are set up over here. So uh, we're going to... Um, Go to system, and then when we're in system here, I'm going to go down to add-ons. And in add-ons, uh, I'm going to uh, go to the right of that, and you see it says uh, manage dependencies. I'm going to click on that. Now when I'm in the added dependencies, it shows you all the different dependencies within your within your uh, Kodi system here, okay? Um, so as you see, I got Yoda installed. Basically, what we got to do is we got to find all of our URL resolvers or uh, scrapers, basically. Um, this is where they go find all those videos from. And uh, in them, we have to turn on the real debris. This way, we don't have to go into every single uh, app and uh, manually uh, set it up. Uh, we could set it up in the resolvers, and it should be good enough. But then we could go into each app and just make sure it's turned on. 
okay, uh, without having to manually set it up too. Okay, so basically this. Uh, so let's scroll down, let me see. Do we need it for adult resolvers? I don't know. Uh, let's take a look and see if that's an option in here. Okay, so, nope, uh, I don't even have this one configured. So let's uh, let's go down to our open. I know I got a bunch of resolvers that are in here. because so I got a load of crap installed. So I do a lot of testing and uh, uh, see so you got the NAND scrapers, which uh, I think they're kind of, uh, I don't even know if they're really working right now, but. Let's go into configure scrapers. Let's see if they have a real debris listing. No, they don't even have that. So let's get out of those NAND scrapers. We're gonna go straight down to here. Uh, even this is the latest open scrapers. Okay, open the scrapers module. I'm gonna go into that, and then you see on the left, uh, we're gonna go into configure and. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to enable paid debris uh, with torrents, okay? And we're going to, okay. And then we're going to get out of that, back out of that. Now we're going to go down, we're going to try to find the uh, resolve URL, okay? See, that's what the, that's the one we want to find, resolve URL. Um, if you have any other URL resolvers, we're going to want to go into those in settings and set them up too. So I'm going to click on that, and then we're going to configure, and uh, we're going to go down to universal resolvers in it. There are universal resolvers menu in it, and see here's a there's a bunch of different debris type apps out there. But we're going to go down. We're going to find uh, real debris. There's premiumize. And, okay, real debris. It's one of the most popular ones. This is the one we're using. We're going to click over here and there's a setting here for 100. I already set mine to 90. Uh, so what you can do is you're going to click on it. Uh, you're going to change that setting over there where it says 90. We're going to, uh, it, it's going to say 100 on yours. We're going to set it to 90. It basically gives it more priority uh, when it's doing searches for the, uh, for videos. It's going to come back and those uh, videos from those uh, paid services, the more reliable ones are going to be showing up first. Um, it's going to use these scrapers a little bit more because they're probably going to be better uh, uh, setups here. Okay. Now, uh, you see where it says uh, reauthorize my account? I'm just going to show you how you how you basically set it up. So I already have it enabled here. Um, uh, basically, what we could do is, uh, okay, this is for real debris. We're going to go down underneath real debris and um not reset my authorization but reauthorize my account i'm going to click on that and it's going to give me a code and we're going to have to go to the website then and enter that code okay and there's that code over here so now i only have so long uh it's giving me so many seconds here uh so let me go to the website and i'll show you what's going to happen so once again i have to go to this website link this url uh, real-debris.com slash device. And then I got to enter this code in. All right. It has, to, you got to enter it in exactly with capitals. If you see a zero there, it's not a zero. It's actually an O. All right. Now, when we're on the website, this is basically what you're going to see. And I got to enter the authorization code, which I have only a few more seconds to do. So I'm going to do that right now. So, uh, 58 B four E seven dr got the tv behind me sorry about that uh, and then you're going to click continue and then you see uh you can name a device here i'm going to name it and i did that but you don't get to see what i named it okay uh and now you can see that that's all set up and then that pop-up menu disappears automatically once you set it up on your computer and you associated it to your device now if you want to you could go into each one of the uh um, uh, your apps that are installed in Kodi and see uh, the real debris settings uh, to enable them for the searches. So whether you're using uh, Exodus, Yoda, uh, or some other services here, see these are all apps that I have installed. Uh, Gaia works good with it, Saren, um, Supremacy, all of these here. Like for example, let's go into Supremacy for a second. Okay, we're in Supremacy. If I hit the 
If I hit my uh, left arrow here, menu pops up. I scroll down to the bottom of that menu. I go to my add-on settings. And where would it be? Accounts. Is it under accounts? Oh, nothing under there. Well, I guess Supremacy doesn't need real debris or use it, so let's find another app. We're going to go into Seren here. While that's loading up. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit the left arrow. That menu pops up. We're going to go down to Add-on Settings. And then you, you see they have uh, Scraping, Accounts, okay. See, there's the premiumized one. Let's go down. Real debris account settings. Uh, you got to enable it. So uh, I just checked that little box. I enabled it. You see, it's already got my username in there, and it's already authorized. Uh, I already set that up. I went in there and I set that up, uh, and everything was already set up for me. Look at that. Um, okay. And then you just, you know, you adjust your settings. So that's in one account. So I go to the different apps I have installed, and I do that. Now, I know Exodus uh, uses real debris. They have settings for that, and so does Yoda. We're going to go into Yoda. I kind of like that one. It's, it's been working better. Now we're in Yoda. You know, you could go to the Yoda updates, make sure you got the latest version of the app. This is the main menu of Yoda. Uh, I'm going to go to add on settings. All right. Now, different, different apps may have the uh, real debris in different areas here. Um, like this one's playback, torrent setup, requires real debris. You see that? So I enabled the torrent scrapers. Now you go to real debris, torrent settings. Enable universal resolvers, which we already set up the settings in universal resolvers. We just did that. So now we don't have to worry about uh, doing a lot. We just make sure that that checkbox is enabled. Um, and, uh, bu -bu, you see, go to universal resolvers in here, um, uh, in this menu, go down to real debris and just make sure that that's turned on. But what I like to do is where it says the priority, I like to make sure that that's set to 90. So this way it gives those search results, you know, um, they come up near the top or uses that as a priority, prioritizes it. Okay, so, and, I, you know, I uh, already set that up in the real resolve when we did that. Now it's already in these apps. It's already set up. So that's pretty good. So now we do a search. Now let me do a search for a movie and show you what happens. So just within uh, Yoda, I'm going to do a search for, uh, let's do a search for Venom. I know that one's in there. Okay, so we'll do a new search. I'm going set, set it up. I'm going to type in a search for Venom. Just give me a second. Okay, so Venom comes back. There it is. Okay, oh, look at this. A lot of different Venoms. Okay, so uh, the Venom, this is the latest movie. Um, so we're going to uh, click on that. So now Yoda's going to do a little searching, and you're going to see here when it's doing its searching, it comes up something different. There's free and there's also the paid sites that it's coming up. Now, you're not gonna have to pay again. You're already paying for real debris once, uh, but it's coming, it's searching the paid sites and the free sites. And you're gonna see the, you're gonna come back with a lot more results. Let's do, let that do its search. I'm not gonna have you sit here watching that. And as you can see, it's still uh, doing the search, but look how many, uh, look how many providers are found here. You know, from between the paid searches and the free ones. Uh, so we're going to get back some nice results. And we're going to put a little more priority in those uh, paid ones. Now look at the 4K quality. Only two came back from free sites. And 37 sources came back on the paid ones. Same thing with 1080p, you know. Uh, 720, standard. You know, there's a lot more that came back. A lot more sources came back on, the, on those... Um, 
uh, what do you call it on the on the paid version uh, other than standard though standard you can see there's a lot more it looks like on the free but anyway that's the lesson so we got a lot more searches we got a lot more sources here i don't know what's going on with my cody it's uh very slow i think i have uh way too many apps on there that are no longer working and i haven't uninstalled so i got to update this cody and uh, remove a lot of crap from it and uh clean my cody so to speak keep it up to date I'm probably going to uninstall everything and just install the new stuff that I'm using from scratch uh, other than and then restore my menus so that it's a lot snappier. But look, we're only at 18% right now. And look at all these sources. Now, Venom is a movie that's been out for a little while now. Uh, so, um, you know, we're expecting it to have a lot of the high sources, but sometimes you're not going to find any of these, you know. Um, but uh, it's, uh, look at it, it's only at 19, 20% and... Uh, it's, we got a lot of sources here to play from, okay? Um, so you're going to enjoy Real Debris. I highly suggest it. And then I also suggest that you get your own VPN service as well. Um, the VPN I use is Nord, N-O-R-D VPN. I'll put a link to that down below as well so that you could sign up for it and uh, support uh, my videos. I get paid uh, from these guys. They got affiliate programs, you know? So please do support them by clicking on my links. Uh, and then uh, this way I get a little, I earn a little something for making these videos. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Enjoy.